You are possibly missing out on a huge opportunity with your clients by making this fundamental mistake. And the mistake is simply that you're not telling them often enough about additional services that you could deliver that might make their life easier, that might save them time and even save them money. And the reason you don't do that is because you don't want to come across as feeling salesy. But the reality is that one of the most common reasons why, why clients switch accountants is because they didn't realize their existing accountant could offer a service that they discovered an accountant up the road could. Which means you're massively missing out on income opportunities from your existing clients, but also you might be losing clients as a result of it as well. Clients ultimately want their accountant to be much more proactive. Proactive in a way that is going to save them time, make their life easier or save them money. Being proactive. What does it mean? Well, really, my take on that is that you are delivering unrequested advice, recommendations to your clients. They have to be relevant, of course. That's important, relevant, pertinent, timely to them. But it has to be valuable to them as well. And you don't necessarily have to be charging. You could make some recommendations. For example, you could say, look, you know, I believe it might be a good time for you to incorporate right now. Um, a preliminary investigation suggests that you might save around £2,000 a year, £20,000 between now and when you retire. Is that something that you'd like to look into? And then, of course, they might say, well, that sounds interesting. Yes, I'd like to. And then your response can simply be, well, would you like some help with that? And then if they say yes, then you can let them know what the fee will that, uh, that will be. My recommendation from this video is that you create yourself what we call a windows of opportunity chart. Quite often we don't necessarily know what types of recommendations to make to our clients. So this is very simple. It's a spreadsheet or it can be a whiteboard. Uh, really, you just want to create a diagram like this, a table and across the top list all of the possible services that you could offer to your clients and maybe brainstorm as a team. What are they? Maybe, you know, there's compliance related stuff. Maybe there's management information such as management accounts, cash flow forecasting. Maybe the tax planning services, maybe even into the realms of business advisory solutions that you could offer to your clients. Map them all across the top. And then down the left hand side, list every single client. And then you can mark off which you're already offering and delivering to those clients. And then the next time you see a client, next time you're sat down having a meeting with them, whether it's on Zoom, whether it's in person, then just identify the next one that you could have a conversation about. Make sure it is going to be relevant to their business, but don't prejudge and assume that they might not be interested. If it's something that could be relevant, then have the conversation. You have nothing to lose. And then just say, by the way, I don't know if you know, but this is one of the services that we offer and it would help you in this way, this way, this way. These are the benefits. These are the possible outcomes that you could expect to achieve. Would you like to know a little bit more about that? And if they do, then great, have that conversation and maybe that's something that you can then sell to them. And if not, then you've told them. And then in terms of marking on here, all you've got to do is mark it with a T to say, I've told them about it, but maybe they didn't buy right now. Or an S, um, I've sold it to them. And you can continue that process through. Now, if you'd like to discover more ways that you can help your clients, what are those additional services and how you could deliver, to, deliver them, uh, maybe you'd like to discover better ways to price your services to attract better quality clients, how to deliver advisory services, how to scale and grow your business in a way that's not adding to your personal burden, then I highly recommend that you come along to my masterclass. I'm Shane Lucas. I'm best-selling author of Putting Excellence into Practice. And I'm running a masterclass in the next few weeks. So I highly recommend click on the link below, discover a lot more about what I'm going to be specifically delivering in that session, and then you can decide whether that's for you. And if so, you can book yourself in. All the best. Bye-bye.